you see in the last class we discussed the value of cos h of x plus y cos h x plus y additional formula cos a plus b is equal to what is cos a plus b trigonometric functions in the case of trigonometric function cos of a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b but in the case of hyperbolic functions we have seen cos h of x plus y is equal to cos h x cos h y plus sin h x sin h y today we consider cos h x minus y the value of cos h x minus y sin h x plus y and sin h x minus y then to define these values we consider the value hyperbolic value of hyperbolic function for negative angles what is cos minus theta we have seen cos minus theta is equal to cos theta sin minus theta is equal to minus into sin theta tan of minus theta is equal to tan minus theta if the angle is negative tan minus theta is equal to minus tan theta in the same way the value of hyperbolic functions for negative angles see for the we have what is cos hx the value of cos hx is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 okay what is cos h of minus x cos h of minus x that is in this expression put x is equal to minus x like x will turn to minus x would go cos h x here cos h of minus x x in the other end will turn to minus x that is cos h minus x is equal to e raised to x x in the other minus x in the e raised to minus x plus e raised to minus minus x e raised to minus of minus x x will turn to minus x but minus x in the other minus x divided by that equal to what is e raised to minus of minus x plus e raised to x that is what is e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to x plus e raised to minus x divided by e raised to x plus e raised to x plus x in a there negative angle in a cos h hyperbolic function the same value there like plus x in a there are value there is minus x cos h minus x is equal to cos h x cos minus theta is equal to cos theta in the same way in the case of hyperbolic function cos h minus x is equal to cos h x then what about sin h minus x for that we know sin h x is equal to what is sin h x hyperbolic function of sin sin hx is equal to e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 then and the value x to the power of minus x sin hx minus x is equal to what is sin is minus x x will turn to minus x then e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus x to the power of minus x on e raised to minus of minus x by 2 that is e raised to minus x minus e raised to minus of minus means e raised to x divided by 2 that is equal to minus outside of the minus outside of the that is e raised to x is that mean minus e raised to minus x by 2 minus e raised to x minus of minus plus e raised to minus x now minus of e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 that is sin h of minus x is equal to minus of minus of e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 and then sin h x that is sin h of minus x is equal to minus into sin h x plus x in the other value is that that is negative value is minus x is that minus of sin h x sin h of minus x is equal to x negative value is that is that x positive is that negative then minus of sin h x that means ഒരു വാല്യൂ സൈൻ എച്ച് എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു ആണ് ഏരിയ വാട്ട് ഇസ് സൈൻ എച്ച് ഓഫ് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് ടു പ്ലസ് എക്സ് എന്ന വാല്യൂ ഏതാ അതിന്റെ നെഗറ്റീവ് അതായിരിക്കും മൈനസ് എൻ ദാറ്റ് കോസ് എച്ച് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു കോസ് എച്ച് എക്സ് സൈൻ എച്ച് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു മൈനസ് സൈൻ എച്ച് എക്സ് ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് എവറിതിങ് ടാൻ എച്ച് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ടാൻ എച്ച് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സൈൻ എച്ച് മൈനസ് എക്സ് ഡിവൈഡ് ബൈ കോസ് എച്ച് മൈനസ് എക്സ് equal to minus into tan h x okay that is cos h minus x is equal to cos h x sin h minus x is equal to minus into sin h x tan h minus x is equal to minus into tan h x then we know this property because in evaluation we discuss it now what is cos h of x plus y cos h of x is equal to 
cos h of x plus y is equal to cos h x cos h y plus sin h x sin s y. In that the y is equal to minus y. Let y is equal to y where there is minus y. Under minus y over there cos h of x of minus y. Y is equal to minus y is equal to cos h x but cos h to minus y. Cos h minus y is equal to cos h y. Then cos h x cos h y plus sin h x. X in the bottom y is equal to minus y or cos sin h minus y. Sin h minus y is equal to minus into sin h. Ah, minus into sin h or minus sin h x and sin h. Okay. Cos h x minus y is equal to cos h x cos h y minus sin h x sin h y. In the case of trigonometric function, cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Hyperbolic function a is not cos h x plus y is equal to cos h x cos h y plus sin h x sin h y. Cos h x minus y is equal to cos h x cos h y minus sin h x sin h y. Similarly, you are at your sin h x into cos h y plus cos h x into sin h y. But cos h x cos h y plus sin h x sin h y can be at the end of the road in ground relation. And then what is it? Find the value of sin h x cos h y plus cos h x sin h y. Sin h x means e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2. Cos h y e raised to y plus e raised to minus y by 2. Our new value is simply free down to the other one. Or sin h of x plus y is equal to sin h x cos h y plus cos h x sin h y. Sin a plus b is equal to the other one. Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. Sin h x plus y is equal to sin h x cos h y plus cos h x sin h y. In this result, we have y to power minus y. Minus y would be sin h x minus y is equal to the other one. Similarly, sin h x minus y is equal to sin h x. Cos h y minus cos h x sin h y. Okay, sin a minus b is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Sin a plus b is equal to sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. The hyperbolic function, the trigonometric function, here it is the same. इधर माना है। ये दिवस प्लस आया, hyperbolic दिवस प्लस आया। चल trigonometric ये दिवस प्लस आया तो ये देखिए minus है। Cos a plus b is equal to cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. Check cos h x plus y is equal to cos h x cos h y plus sin h x sin h y. Cos h x minus y is equal to cos h x cos h y minus sin h x sin h y. Okay? And then addition formula cos a plus b cos a minus b sin a plus b sin a minus b. In the same way, in the case of hyperbolic functions, we have cos h x plus y is equal to cos h x cos h y plus sin h x sin h y. Cos h x minus y is equal to cos h x cos h y minus sin h x sin h y. Sin h x plus y is equal to sin h x cos h y plus cos h x sin h y. Sin h x minus y is equal to sin h x cos h y minus cos h x sin h y. अब अलग cos minus cos h minus x is equal to cos h x. Sin h minus x equal to sin h of minus x is equal to minus into sin h x. मतलब इतने प्रॉपर्टी दूर अंदर दिया सेव एरिया सेव एरिया तेरे सर्च ना आ रहा है इधर है मतलब ना आ रहा है ये बायर उसको प्रूफ होना पड़ेगा अंदर सेव एरिया नोट लेके आते हैं एडिशन फॉर्मूला फॉर कॉस एच एक्स प्लस वाई साइन एच एक्स प्लस वाई कॉस एच एक्स माइनस वाई साइन एच एक्स माइनस वाई नल लग से the values of hyperbolic functions for multiple angles. That is, what is the value of cos h 2x, sin h 2x, tan h 2x, etc. What is cos 2 theta? Cos 2 theta is equal to, we know, cos square theta minus sin square theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. We know, cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta. What is sin h 2x, sin 2x, sin 2 theta is equal to sin theta cos theta. In the same way, what are the, what are the values of hyperbolic functions in the case of multiple angles, 2x, 3x, etc. And for that, we have, what is the value of cos hx plus y? Cos hx plus y is equal to cos hx, cos hy plus sin hx, sin hy. Similarly, sin hx plus y is equal to, what is sin hx plus y? Sin hx cos hy plus cos hx sin hy. 
ഈ റിസൾട്ടിനകത്ത് വൈ ഈസ് ഈസ് ആൾസോ ഈസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് വൈക്കും എക്സും കൊടുക്കും ഈ റിസൾട്ടിനകത്ത് ഇഫ് ഈ ദറ്റ് വൈ ഈസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് ദെൻ ദിസ് ബിക്കംസ് കോസ് എച്ച് എക്സ് പ്ലസ് എക്സ് എക്സ് പ്ലസ് എക്സ് മീൻസ് കോസ് എച്ച് ഇൻ ടു എക്സ് ദെൻ ദെറ്റ് വൈ ഈസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു എക്സ് ഇൻ റിസൾട്ട് വേണം വൈ വരുന്നിടത്ത് എക്സ് എന്ന് കൊടുത്താൽ ദെൻ കോസ് എച്ച് എക്സ് പ്ലസ് എക്സ് കോസ് എച്ച് ഇൻ ടു എക്സ് ഈസ് ഇക്വൽ ടു cos h x in the cos h x y is also is equal to x y to x is equal to x but cos h x in the cos h x cos h is equal to x plus sin h x in the sin h x y is equal to x y to y x is equal to x that is sin h x in the sin h x sin h x in the sin h x is equal to sin h is equal to x or cos h is equal to x is equal to cos h is equal to x plus sin h is equal to x in the case of trigonometry function we have cos 2 theta is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta in the case of hyperbolic function we have cos h 2x is equal to cos h square x plus sin h square x we have seen this value what is cos h square x minus sin h square x cos h square x minus sin h square is equal to 1 then no kida cos h square x plus sin h square x is equal to cos h 2x Similarly, what about this one? Put y is equal to x. Then other y is equal to x. Now, the sin h x plus x. That is sin h 2x. Now, y to y x. Now, the sin h x plus x. Sin h 2x is equal to sin h x. The cos h y is equal to x. Y to y x is equal to x. Now, the sin h x. Sin h y. Sorry, now, cos h x. Sin h x cos h x plus x. cos h x sin h y to y x sin h x now sin h x cos h x is then sin h x cos h x that is 2 sin h x cos h x what is sin 2 theta sin 2 theta equal to 2 sin theta cos theta in the same way sin h 2 x is equal to 2 sin h x cos h x okay then you know the result what is cos h x plus y cos h 2 x is equal to cos h 2 x is equal to we have cos h 2 x is equal to cos h square x plus sin h square x we know cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1 then what is cos h square x we know cos h square x is equal to 1 plus sin h square x we know we are going to be cos h square x is equal to 1 plus sin h square x plus sin h square x sin h square plus sin h square equal to 2 sin h square x plus 1 cos h 2x another way is that cos h square then cos h square is equal to 1 plus sin h square x 1 plus sin h square x plus sin h square x 1 plus 2 sin h square x so 2 sin h square x plus 1 so again in the other way cos h x cos h 2x is equal to cos h square x plus sin h square x what is sin h square x sin h square is equal to is it not equal to cos h square x minus 1 sin h square x in the cos h square x minus 1 in the cos h square x plus cos h square x minus 1 in the 2 cos h square x minus 1 that is cos 2 theta in both values cos 2 theta is equal to one value cos square theta minus sin square theta equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 equal to 1 minus 2 sin square theta in the same way the hyperbolic in the case of hyperbolic function cos h 2x has three values cos h 2x is equal to cos h square x plus sin h square x e cos h square nalla rendu ya 1 plus sin h square x in the other cos h square is equal to 1 plus sin h square x andra nalla rendu 1 plus sin h square plus sin h square 2 sin h square x plus 1 is equal to 2 cos h square x minus 1 is there e sin ne kuda endu yenu sin h square x is equal to cos h square x minus 1 and the cos h square x plus cos h square x minus 1 cos h square cos h square to cos h square x minus 1 similarly sin h 2 theta is equal to 2 sin h cos h x sin 2 theta is equal to sin theta cos theta in the same way sin h 2 x is equal to 2 sin h x cos h x cos h 2 x is equal to cos h square x plus sin h square x cos h square x minus sin h square x is equal to 1 the cos h 2x is equal to 2 sin h square x plus 1 is equal to 2 cos h square x minus 
இந்த ரீ ரிசர்ஸ் காஸ் ஹெச் டூ எக்ஸ் சைன் ஹெச் டூ எக்ஸ் காஸ் ஹெச் ஸ்கொயர் எக்ஸ் மைனஸ் ஐஎஸ் ஸ்கொயர்ஸ் அது வந்து படிக்கிறது சேவிய சேவியது டோட்டிங் பார்த்தேன் அது சேவிய Now we are going to discuss the derivatives of hyperbolic functions. We know the derivatives of trigonometry functions, derivative of sin x cos x, derivative of cos x minus sin x, derivative of tan x secant square x, derivative of cosecant x minus cosecant x cot x, derivative of secant x secant x tan x, derivative of cot x minus cosecant square x. Similarly, what are the derivatives of sin hx, cos hx, tan hx, secant hx, cosecant hx and cot hx. First one, we consider the derivative of cos hx. We have the derivative of cos hx, d divided by dx of cos hx. E is equal to the derivative of, what is cos hx? Cos hx is equal to e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2. Okay? That means take 1 by cos, 1 by 2 e. Derivative of e raised to x. What is derivative of e raised to x? e raised to x. Plus derivative of e raised to minus x. e raised to minus x is derivative e raised to x. Into minus x is equal to minus x. But plus x is equal to 1. E raised to x is equal to minus x. E raised to minus x is derivative. e raised to 5x and e raised to 5x into 5, 5x into 5. How about e raised to minus x is derivative? e raised to u, in u in there, minus x is the minus one. Then you can do 1 by u into e raised to x, either minus e raised to minus x by 2. Okay? e raised to x is the minus e raised to minus x by 2. e raised to x minus e raised to minus x by 2 is the very side of x. or derivative of cos hx is equal to sin hx derivative of cos x is equal to minus sin x derivative of cos hyperbolic function cos hx is equal to sin hx not negative sin hx cos hx into derivative sin hx <coughs> similar to the constant derivative of sin hx d divided by dx of sin hx is equal to derivative of d divided by dx of sin hx what is sin hx e raised to x minus e raised to minus x divided by 2. That is equal to 1 by 2 into, take 1 by 2 outside. 1 by 2 into derivative of e raised to x, e raised to x. Minus derivative of e raised to minus x, e raised to minus x into e minus x in the minus 1. e raised to u, derivative e raised to u, e raised to minus x. Into e u in the minus x in the minus 1. Now, either minus into minus plus i, by any i e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2, divided by 2. e raised to x the plus e raised to minus x by 2. e raised to x plus e raised to minus x by 2 is equal to cos hx. That is derivative of sin hx is equal to cos hx. Derivative of cos hx is equal to sin hx. Okay. Next, we consider the derivative of tan hx. Derivative of tan hx is equal to tan hx is equal to sin hx by cos hx. This is a quotient. Tan hx is equal to sin hx by cos hx. Sin hx by cos hx. Derivative. Apply quotient to denominator in u. That is cos hx in u. Derivative of sin hx numerator. Minus numerator in u. Sin hx in u. Derivative of denominator. Cos hx divided by denominator square. Okay, that is cos hx into, what is the derivative of sin hx? The derivative of sin hx is equal to cos hx. The cos hx into cos hx. Minus sin hx into, the derivative of cos hx is the sin hx. Sin hx into sin hx is x. By cos hx square x. Cos hx over square is equal to cos hx square x. That is this is equal to cos hx into cos hx. Cos hx square x. Minus sin hx square x divided by cos hx square x. What is cos hx square x minus sin hx square x? Is equal to 1. Cos hx square x plus sin hx square x is equal to cos hx to the ux. In the cos hx square x minus sin hx square, 1 divided by cos hx square x. What is 1 by cos hx? 
1 by cos secant well that is equal to secant h square x derivative of tan h x is equal to secant h square x okay similarly you can prove derivative of cot h x in the chain of what is cot h x cot h x is equal to cos h x by sin h x now cos h x by sin h x question will apply denominator sin h x into derivative of cos h x numerator as sin h x minus numerator again as sin h x into derivative of denominator sorry cos h x into derivative of denominator cos h x now sin h square x minus cos h square x divided by sin h square x now and denominator cot means cos h x by sin h x now denominator nu parayumbo sin h x into numerator derivative cos h x into derivative sin h x the sin h square x minus numerator cos h x into derivative of denominator that is cos h x the sin h square x minus cos h square x divided by denominator square sin h square x a sin h square x minus cos h square another minus in both the mera the minus of ingane cos h square x minus sin h square x a cos h square x minus sin h square x divided by mera minus 1 divided by sin h square x 1 divided by sin h square x is equal to secant that is minus cos h square x okay what is the derivative of cos h x sin h x derivative of sin h x derivative of cos h x sin h x derivative of sin h x cos h x derivative of tan h x secant h square x derivative of cot h x minus cos secant h square x okay ne idu ode save cheya save edittu note like paartha adu vela padikkan cheya derivative of cos h x sin h x derivative of sin h x cos h x derivative of tan h x secant h square x derivative of cot h x minus cos secant h square x aa cot h x inde ningal endu cheyanam adu proof edukku engane varu denominator cot h x means cot means cos h x by sin h x adu the quotient will apply here and then again varu again sin h square x minus cos h square x divided by sin square sin h square ana numerator nar minus ing porthu minus outside eduthal minus of cos h square x minus sin h square adu minus 1 divided by sin h square x is equal to minus cos h square x and then do the same way and then mark it and same way the other one padi 